Today I'm going to show you sablé biscuits, a thin uh, biscuits that is very easy to make uh, that can be uh, served as a garnish uh, with a cream based pudding or you can uh, have it on its own with a nice cup of coffee or tea. All you need to do it is 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of caster sugar, one egg, a few drops of vanilla essence if you like and 150 grams of flour which I'm going to sift in a minute. First of all, all you need to do is bring your butter in your bowl, mixing bowl, add the sugar and you need to cream it as we say in the trade. So to cream it Yeah, that's creamed enough. A few drops of vanilla essence. Oh, that will do. And then crack your egg in. A bit more mixing. Then just add your flour. Once everything is mixed and homogen, all you need to do is clean film it and let it rest for about two hours in the fridge. And then we shall roll it out and bake it. There we go. First, that's the end of the first stage of the sable biscuit. So after two hours of uh, the sable biscuit paste uh, been uh, chilled out in the fridge, just take it out. Just flour your work top. It's a very delicate paste. There you go. A bit more. And just roll it out. And start to stick obviously a bit more flour. There you go. And now just get your cutter. And on a grease, non-grease um, proof uh, tray, just put them. Like this one, one at a time. There you go. Obviously, you can make more with your the rest of the pastry. Uh, this one goes in the oven for uh, about five minutes. 
but uh, it goes very quickly so just be careful 180 degrees five minutes five to eight minutes okay so after five to eight minutes in the oven uh, 180 I just take them out just to show you what they should look like just brown on the outside as you can see and just a still a bit plain in the middle but that's the way they should look like so be caref uh, carefully just take them out of the tray whoop this one sliding and let them cool before you can enjoy them obviously a ve very versatile biscuits sable biscuits there you go for more tips info and recipe please go to stephlechef.com and thank you for watching